was just watching one of your video. Awesome. Oh, Pinal, cool. It's great to see you here. Hey, I have this problem question that I have. Do you want to maybe go sit down and talk about it? Oh, All right. yeah. yeah, nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you, yeah. Yeah, good long time. Yeah, thank you. Um, is it all right if I describe a problem for you? I guess first, are we are you comfortable sitting here? Is this okay? Uh, I think it's comfortable. Okay. I think it's easy. Yeah, we can rest here. So what's up? So I'm I'm having issues with my connections back at the back at work, and it's uh, the SQL Server performance. Just something's going on. So I was, I was thinking about first troubleshooting it by looking at Activity Monitor. Is that where you would start? Activity Monitor is amazing. I like it as long as I don't use it all the time. Actually, that's a good suggestion. I mean, I, I would try, but you know what? Sometime, have you ever faced it that activity monitor, when you try to open it, it does not open, or it itself adds a lot of workload on already stressed out system. So I may start it, but I have my opinion about it. Do you want to discuss where a little bit, little more fresh air is? Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Yeah. So, what would you do when the activity monitor is, you know, inaccessible or it isn't really giving you any good information? Activity monitor many times does not give the information which we need. And when the activity monitor does not give us necessary information, what we need to do is go back to our roots and run as people do. Mm. I know you have, might have opinion to run many different scripts, but you know what? Let's start with SP Hutu yeah. and identify which particular session or SP ID is creating a trouble for us. Yeah. See yeah. if there's any blocking or going on. It can be blocking or it can be high CPU usage or IO reads or it can be anything. We just need to start with SP Hutu and identify a thread which is actually doing trouble for us by using more resources. So what, what do you do when you identify that threat? Hmm. You... I just finished the water. Where is garbage can? I think there's one over there. Let's, let's continue. Let's get there and yeah. then finish our conversation. Sounds good. And what was your question? Oh yeah, so if, if once you find the, the ID of the session that's giving you trouble, right. what, what would you do next? Okay, the, I think the first thing which comes to everybody's mind is to kill it. That's not <laughs> we should be doing it because killing it is natural. But you know what, I, ideally what we need to do is we need to figure it out what exactly query is running mm. and that is what we can do with the help of DBCC input buffer. Uh, I can give you the code which you can write it down in the video of the comments, but yeah. In a SQL Server 2016 and 17, even we have a better dynamic management view, which we can use it to retrieve additional information along with the SPID, like CPU read, um, CPU time, IO reads, uh, memory consumptions, TMDB usage, exactly query, how long it has been running. Once you know this kind of information, you can decide what you want to do. Do you want to kill it? Do you want to tune it? Or whatever it is. I think this should be a starting point, I believe personally, uh, when people see a slow application. But let me ask you a question back, man. Okay. You tell me, what do you think you would do in this scenario? Activity Monitor was a great start, but as I said, I actually rather prefer SP Hutu and go back to that particular session ID and know more about the session ID before I give any answer. Mm -hmm. But what would you have done if I say you cannot use Activity Monitor? I don't know. Do you want a, even more fresh air now? I think I think we need to move again to figure it out. Let's. What if we go to the Sky Bridge? Let's That's do that. What would you do, my friend? So. I guess I'd want to get a better understanding of okay. the query workload of the server. Okay. Um, and it's just to get a feel for what's going on, because depending on the time of day, you can have different kinds of issues. Are your backups running, or is this a yeah. daytime, you know, OLETP problem that's happening? That's right? true. It depends. And so, two things I like to use are either wait stats to okay. see what resources are being waited on on the server. That can tell you information about point. what to wait for. Wait statistics. And looking at just query history on the server. 
server to see what else has been running because that might influence, it might not be your one particular query that's the problem, it could be something else that's running on the server too. So, so hold on for a second, yeah. wait statistics I'm very clear what you mean because with the help of wait statistics we can figure it out since the last server restart mm. how it is behaving and who is actually blocking. Right. But talk about query history. So how would you figure it out, query history? Are you talking about one query or what do you mean? Just a little bit of so it could be It could be that one query, right, in terms of things like parameter sniffing or your data yeah. maybe underneath is changing. Or plan, plan issue. Plan issue. caching too. Yeah, there's so many things to check. I mean, what would you do in that, in that case? I would depend on a third party tool at one point of time because you know what? We want to do so many things ourselves, but at one point, you just have to take help of machines. It's easier, right? I mean, it it's is easy. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think we cannot talk about the third party tool right now. So no. let's park this conversation. Yeah. But so what is our summary right now? Would you like to summarize this? Our conversation? Yeah, well, let's go see if we can get some coffee and we'll summarize it there. Coffee sounds very good. So let's do this way. So if your application is running slow, and your boss comes to you and says, let's start talking about. First thing, you may consider activity monitor, but our preference is you start with SP Hutu, find the SP ID or session ID which is creating a trouble for you, and then diagnostic further on that SP ID to see if that is a bad boy or somebody else is. And with the DMVs, you can figure it out if it is taking a lot of resources or not. If not, you as you say truly what we can do after that is see summary of all the queries running since last restart and see if this query is not bad who else is a bad and also server bottleneck with the help of wait statistics so I think this is how you start if you have any other question you can write to either yeah, of us right either yeah and what about how do they get resources well so if you want to watch more videos, subscribe to this channel and you can always get the latest SQL tips and advice. And Pinal, how can people find you in case they haven't found you on Google already? SQLauthority.com, go there, ask us a question and resources will be there in the description, whatever we discuss. But we hope to see uh, more of you subscribing to this channel. So yeah, thank you. Thanks Pinal, let's, let's keep going. Absolutely, nice weather today. It's a little cold.